One is Celestia, and another is Mr. You that I can see. One we can see, another one we can see by the eyes of faith. Two personalities in one person. So now, the, the one we cannot see, the, if you live for God, you have the divine nature of God. The one we can see by the eyes of faith, that is the divine nature of God. But if you are now thrown to your life of Satan, you now have the divine nature of Satan, that is those who inspire people to steal, to kill, to destroy. So the one is Havana, that is the divine nature of Satan, that living inside her. So everyone, like me here, some, I'm here now, I'm talking as Prophet T.B. Joshua, not Mr. T.B. Joshua. And if I live here behind altar, I, I will talk as Mr. T.B. Joshua. That is why you can just talk to me and say, ah, T.B. Joshua, how are you? I say, fine. Yes, I'm talking, Mr. T.B. Joshua is talking. But right now, I'm Prophet T.B. Joshua. It's the divine nature of me that is doing this. That's why people like this can come out. What's happened to you? What are you saying? This... Your power is small. So, it. so it's divine nature and human nature. So right now, thank you. Let's watch the video. So, but your body is temple of Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. If there is any stranger, right there and begin to cast it out in the name of Jesus. Cast it out. Tu te fais étrange dans votre vie, commencez à les chasser dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Chassez-les. Open your lips in Jesus' name. Oh, well, that's my husband. I've wedded with a man and we have, we have say, two boys. You say what? I wedded with him in the water. I'm not going to chase you. Just talk. You but wedded with who? You are trying to separate me and that man. Which man? The man I wedded with. Where? It's in the water. It's in the water? Yes. And you, are, you want me to separate from the man? So that I will born for this one. I refuse. I won't born for that one. So I want you to see what is happening in the world today. All what you are seeing, this war is not your own. Talk. You say what? You want to make me to born for this man now? No. Which man? The husband in the house. Where is the husband in the house? At Lokoja. Uh, which man you wedded with? The one in the water I wedded with. Want to separate me and them. How many children you have for him? Two healthy boys. I want to separate me and him. Who want to separate you? Man of God. You want to separate me and my husband. He put crown on my head. I wear me where the gun. Where is your husband now? The one I love is in the water. Okay, the one you love is in the water. Yes. The one you hate, Inko? It's at Lokoja. Ah. <laughs> that one at Lokoja. I refused to born for him for 17 years now. No picking. Why? We have agreed that I should not born for him. But if I separate you, Nanko? I love that man. You love who? The one in the water. If I separate you, what will happen? That is why you have come. You have what? Yes, I can see that God in you. Okay, can you move here? Please. Please walk? I'm still, I can't come near you, please. Why? No, I can't come near you. If you don't come near me, I'll come near you. Oh, yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered today. Yeah. And go right now and have a child for your rightful man. In the name of Jesus Christ. They say they have destroyed a life for long. Daddy, please. I didn't know I was suffering the man in the physical. I think these are the lessons you are taking home. 
You say what? I didn't know I was, was suffering my husband in the physical. You never knew? I didn't know. He was taking me everywhere. He was taking you everywhere? <laughs> For deliverance? Yeah. That place, I know they can't deliver me. I'm just following him to that place. Oh, he's crying. Oh, oh, and I realized that dream that brought me here. Oh, he's Daddy. regretting now that he has married for many. You listen to that. What is the difference between this and that? Can you see the pattern too? Eh? Can you see? Can you see? Now the woman is here. She's here. But you'll be very surprised to hear something. Because there was no time for us to actually listen to her that day. He has many things to say. You'll be very surprised to learn that she's a pastor. no time to interview her. Who are you? She's this. What are you doing? That's the work we love. Ah, but the time we are not. Because we are trying to put our time. So, you listen to her. You have a lot of lessons to learn. So, when you hear a pastor who is accusing another pastor, you should know she's possessed. Because if I stand here to say that pastor in that church is not good, that church is not a church of God, it means I'm possessed. Because what the Bible says is that the Bible does not say we should stand as a product of love, son and daughter of love. Love does not discuss in sin, love does not draw attention to sin. Love, love, delivered. What the Bible says is that if I know that man over there is not good, is not a man of God, I should. <laughs> okay, can you tell this woman to go and wait for me? Ocha, take her there. God of what? Wait. God of what? Give her man. God of what? Where is that your hanky? God of what? God of choosing. God of choosing. Ah? Uh, where are you? <laughs> I don't know what to do again. God of what? Back up. You say what? Back up. God of choosing. What happened? God of choosing is a. Uh, what happened? Brother uh, Chris! Uh, please, oh, go and wait for me. <laughs> the God of Chusi. <laughs> I don't know what to talk for again. Uh, the, the question is that if you give attention to these people, we are not going to do more than deliverance here today. That is just it. They have many ways, trick. They have a trick of. They can scatter, they can do this. They, they will make sure we are not going to leave more than their deliverance. That's their way. Can you see now? He has come to another one. What is he saying? <laughs> okay, look. Let us. Look. Please, Ocha, can you, can you just put her there? Let her sit down there. Please, don't take her anywhere. Here, here, here. It should not go. I want to see her sitting down there. Um, what, what we are saying, remember Paul and Salah? They are, they are servants of the Most High God. 
listen to them. This slave girl was saying it. Paul looked back and looked at her and said, In your mouth, you, you are saying this, that they should listen to us. Are you one of us? How can you darkness? And we are light. You are now the one campaigning for us. It, a darkness is campaigning for that uh, light. Immediately he looked back and, spill, and spoke a word. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I deliver you. Simple. This is the principle in the Bible. No one is given right to stand and begin to condemn a church or a pastor somewhere. If you see somebody that is doing that, he or she is possessed. The weapon they use is campaign of calumny. That is to campaign. That is empty mouth. So when you see someone like that, no. Look at this woman now. She's here for deliverance. Imagine when she was outside, what do you think such a woman would be saying about me? When she was outside. Can somebody? What do you think this woman outside there, when she was outside, pastoring, ministering everywhere, what do you think would be her belief about me? Do you think you can say that I'm a man of God? He will never say that. Because we are not one. It will be opposite. Finally, it's here. So, please, don't tell people what they say they are until they are tested. <laughs> tell your neighbor, don't tell people what they say they are. If I say I'm chairman of the company, don't take me just because I'm a chairman of the company. That be where chairman of the company needs to be tested in the rare situation. If I say I'm a pastor, don't just take me by my confession. The way I'm a pastor needs to be examined in the light of God's way. By tested. So this is just the principle in the Holy Bible. A man may confess a pastor, I'm a pastor. And not yet, and not such in heart. Tell your neighbor. A man may confess, I'm a pastor. A man may confess, I'm a bishop. A man may confess, I'm a Christian. A man may confess, I'm a believer. And not such in heart. In the same way, you that in a secular job, if you now begin to check your, your, your pocket, you will see many people with 20 business cards. How many of these business are you doing? If you say, Uncle, let us see your pocket, we will see up to 20 business cards. You are the architect. You are the contractor. <laughs> you are the lawyer. You are the ironic engineer. You are the uh, football, football uh, agent. <laughs> you are the chartered accountant. The, you are the actress. You are the actor. You are the same thing, reverend. Everything is inside your pocket. By the time we bring it out, how many of these jobs you practice? The same thing, pastors. If we say we are pastor, don't take us by what we say we are. We need to be examined in the light of God's word. So therefore, we have to be what pray and wash. Wash and pray. Don't be surprised that in the past you might have been you might have laden down for Someone who is supposed to lay it down for you. Because, the, because of the name he called himself. If somebody come to you and say, I'm the...
county, 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 bishop, 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 pastor, pastor, prophet, prophet, with deep, many titles. Pray for me, sir. Whereas, is the one that's supposed to be on his knee for you to pray for him. But because of the title will be here, you are given in. So it happened in all area of life. Let us wash and pray. So let's give us all over the world. Thank you for your time. What we are saying here, simple. A man may confess I'm a pastor and not such in heart. And I'm saying anywhere you are all over the world, if we are to begin to check your post, we will see up to five, six, seven business cards. You are the lawyer, you are the football agent, you are the architect, you are the chartered accountant. There's no business they call you, you will not appear. But when you appear, you collect that business and give it to some people that do it. And you will not stay back and collect your commission. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. <laughs> let us see your hand if I'm talking. Let us see your hand if I'm talking. Is that not what is happening in the world? When they call a cheater or accountant, you come forward. You collect that big business. After collecting it, you will not look for accountant, chattel accountant, you give it to him. You work out your own interests. You stay out. That is, that is your job. What can we call your profession? Take and take. And take. <laughs> so this is exactly what is happening in all areas of life. So let's 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 call the our our madam out. Nous venons voir la vidéo de cette femme qui est sortie des rangs la semaine dernière, révélant qu'elle est mariée avec un mari spirituel dans l'eau. On va écouter son témoignage. Vemos en ce moment la mujer del testimonio que a compartido durante el tiempo de oración. And I told you that I will invite our father, the husband. I finally is a very godly man. And God has been protecting me here today with him. With her. It's very godly. Immediately we, I gave him a call. It's immediately he left every job he has and said, Man of God must answer your call. So let's. Your name and your profession in, in the past. By the grace of God and Pastor Ruth Ajimi Ojoka. And the name of my ministry is Bapto Evangelism Movement. Last Sunday when the man of God was praying, I felt that touch of God in me and I came out confessing that I am married to a spiritual husband that is in the water. And I have two boys for this man. And each time I want to make love with this man, the man used to put the mattress on the river and will be there making love. And after making love with this man, I will not have affection for my physical husband. Even when the doctor has time elsewhere. Please, I will take it one by one, step by step, because there are great lessons to learn. Listen what he's saying. And listen to a statement. Very professional. Even the way he presents the message, you will know in the natural is a pastor, but in the spirit is not. But how many of you can say this? In the natural, that is where you belong. You are not there in the spirit. So in the natural, the way he presents it is a professional pastor. But in the spirit, where you cannot say and you cannot do it, you cannot say what is happening there. Total is zero. Professionally, you can see the message the way he presents the word of God. He has not started preaching, he just introduced herself. 
So this war, let's listen. Hey, I was praying for people, delivering people, seeing vision for people while this evil spirit is still operating in me. So in this evil spirit operation, I go to prison. I started attending a teenager. The scans say there is a baby inside of me, but all of a sudden, the baby disappear. My spiritual husband now removed the child and replaced it with crab, which I was operated with a, over 200,000 to bring out the, the crab inside of me, and they gave it to my husband. They asked my husband to take the, the crab to physiotherapy at Abuja. You mean physically the thing is really what you are saying? The crab was, at Federal Medical Center Abuja, the crab was brought out and it was alive. And my husband was confused because he had, he had no money to further the test. He decided to burn the crab. Man of God, I've run to a greater authority, greater anointing to the... The question, which people don't understand. Now you have demon in you. And at the same time, you minister the word of God. You pray for people. You, did, you, you pray, you minister the word of God, you pray for people. What can you say about this? Can anybody there? No. Okay, outside there, how many you know are like this? You don't know. If I'm right, you don't This is a dangerous world. How many of these you know that are, you know? The minister, the word, is a pastor, and at the same time, he has demons inside him. Who is then ministers? When Jesus never, he, he doesn't share his apartment with anyone, he's, he's jealous God. When he step here, every negative thing disappears. So, he wants to be the head of our temple. He does not want to share his temple, this temple, with anyone. Jesus is not, our Savior is not, he, he cannot be there, and a demon will be there. So, I show you that a man may confess I'm a pastor, and not such in heart. Anyone can minister the word of God in the nursery, but not everyone can do so in the spirit. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Everybody. Can minister whether you are occultic, whether you are this, whether you are a chongo, whether you are demon, whether you are Satan, whether you whatever you call yourself, whether you are this, whether you don't even believe it and you don't want to believe, you can carry Bible and begin to talk, even powerful message you will give it. You will give word that people will begin to cry and say, Ah, this is a word, this is the word of God. Look at this, the way he presented it. Everybody, everyone can minister that way in the natural, but not everybody in the spirit. She had been doing so in the natural, just like seven sons of Skeva. Does it take you to learn to, to learn the word of God? Go to school. Do you need righteousness to go to university? No. Can somebody answer me? No. 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 All you need dedication. You have to read your book. Read your book and concentrate. 
whether as you read you can be going whatever you do either murder killing or whatever that will not make you not to have your first class it will not deprive you or rob you your first class you listen to me what of thousands that follow Before we call our father out, can you give us your message in the past? Those messages you normally preach in the past. So that these people will know that really you are a pastor in the natural. Praise the Lord. It is a great privilege given to me today in this great altar. You see? Do you listen to that? Hallelujah. Great, great privilege. In the journey of Paul to Rome, mm -hmm. in the island of Mata, a poisonous snake was fastened into the hands of Paul, mm -hmm. and Paul shake off the beast. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm a portion to shake off every beast in my life in the name of Jesus. You listen to that. When I came out, did I speak like that? He speak better than me. <laughs> yeah, he slapped me. Hallelujah. Wait, wait, Pastor. You listen to that. When I came out, did I take you to Rome? Did I take you to uh, uh, Greek? My own is, as they gave me over there, I said it. You see, it's Rome. Uh, checkable, 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 checkable. That is how they will be shaking you, shaking you everywhere. Huh? Until they check, check you and check you finish. <laughs> if they want to check you. Oh yeah, let's hear the word you Praise want to check Praise the Lord. This morning I tied to my message. Jesus' name is preached in which authority? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. In which authority are you preaching the name of Jesus? Is it in authority of God or in authority of demon? Mm -hmm. Let's look at Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 26. Where the Bible says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the love of captive delivered? Thank you. Thank you. Just a second. Write it down. The, one of the questions we ask here now is that when demon is living in you and you abuse the demon, how, how did the demon react then? Write it down, write it down, that's the question. Because it's abusing demon. Then, eh? <laughs> so, no, if I'm right, let's up your hand. It's rebuking demon. Whether demon is inside him, what, re what is the reaction of demon? Write it down, that's the one of the questions we want to ask. The Bible says, Shall the prayer be taken from the mighty or the lovable captive deliver? What thou says the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. I know everything that is of God in you, and Satan has positioned himself, a mighty man over your life. The word of God said today, that mighty man shall be taken away, and that good thing of God shall be delivered unto you. I'm saying, in which authority are you preaching the name of Jesus? For 17 years, I was calling the name of Jesus. I'm using myself as a case study. I was calling the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus, I was calling, praying for people does not affect my life. And there was a question, how does it that this Jesus does not affect my life? And I'm calling the name of Jesus for people. Pray for them. Give them vision. I be, it becomes a question in my life. Let us look at again the Bible, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 9 to 10. God himself has uh, have exalted the name of Jesus Christ highly above every other name. And he said of things in heaven, things in the earth, things beyond the earth shall bow down to the glory of God the Father. That in the name of Jesus every name was bound, every 
Tom was confessed. If you are, I realize and I know for sure under this great anointing. Now, if you are preaching the name of Jesus and it is not in, a, in God's authority, no demon will bow down for you. If you like, with the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God will convert you into Spirit of, I mean, the Word of God. Does He, does deliver, does bless. But if you are now with evil spirit, the word, this word will be converted into word of Satan. Does kill, does destroy, does steal. The conversion, the instrument of conversion inside you was evil spirit. And it will convert it to kill, to steal, and to destroy you may speak good word and say be blessed in Jesus name if the evil spirit is inside you the evil spirit will not stop you not to say be blessed in Jesus name it will not stop you from saying that but that's the work of evil spirit in you is to convert that word to his instrument that's Jesus being demon to them be blessed means be destroyed. If I'm talking, if you understand, let me see your hand. It does not stop there. This is why the war is, is too dangerous now. Because you don't know who is Satan again. Everybody profess Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Be blessed. Be blessed. You keep asking yourself. Why this Satan will also say, Jesus is Lord, be blessed. Why is it, I know many of you will say, why is Jesus allow them to say this? No. Word. It is word. They are saying words. They are not praying prayer. There's a difference between saying word and praying prayer. You can say word by saying Jesus. You can also say where by saying Jesus, but you can also pray prayer by saying Jesus. So the, the instrument of conversion is that spirit. The name is spirit. But if you are for God, spirit of God. If you are for Satan, spirit of Satan. But the name spirit. So if you are for Satan, when you say be blessed. That evil spirit will convert it to be destroyed. It is unnecessary for you to say be destroyed. It's unnecessary. Because if you are saying it, you will not find anyone to be destroyed. Everybody will be running for you. If I'm talking, let you see your hand. <laughs> Everybody will be running for you. Everybody will be running for you. Just say, Yes, you are the weapon of destruction. Yes, nobody will come to you. You say be blessed. If the one inside of you is that evil spirit, it will convert it to be destroyed. But the bless is where this time. When you speak where in the natural, you can say anything. You can say heaven, heaven, heaven. You can say Jesus, Jesus Christ, million times, like anybody said it. But if it is Holy Spirit inside you, it will convert that word to what you say here. You say be blessed, it will be blessed. Be saved, it will be saved. Be, be delivered, it will be delivered. Because that is the instrument, the agent. I hope you quite understand what I'm saying now. So this is just it. What was inside her? That does, what was inside you does not stop you from saying whatever you want to say. Does not stop you from preaching. You will preach evil powerful sermon than even the people of God. You will quote Bible from Genesis to Revelation even better than the people of God. They are very sound. They are very strong. They are very powerful. They are very effective in the natural. Than even we. In the natural, if you are fighting like this, they can. They have.
have power to do whatever they want to do. Eloquent speech, words that is coming out of them is so sweet that can, you can easily be swayed, easily be carried away. They are there. Tell your neighbor, they are in the in natural. Say in the natural, they are there. In the natural, they are there. They are there. They are there. But in the spirit, you are there. Say, I'm there. Because God is on my side. Natural means you see them weapon of propaganda. They say, I will kill you. Look at the Goliath and David. Okay, good example is Goliath and David. David was very small. Goliath is a giant man. He was saying, I will kill you today. I will destroy you today. All what he was saying in the natural. He was telling, I will kill you. I will destroy you. I will do everything. You, small boy, I will excuse you. People hearing this say, oh, this is weird. But small boy was in the spirit. Why Goliath was saying this in the natural? It's mighty in the natural, but in the spirit, God is on your side. Tell your neighbor, God is on my side. God is on my side. Because God is on my side. I'm in the spirit. So that is it. So you know I have said it that uh, it is so important that we, 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 we speak the word of God in the natural. But that is not all. You must see yourself in the spirit as well. So I sometimes, do you know the, my concern now is sometimes when I see people I want to cry. Because some people will come and say, I'm born again. I'm born again and begin to say, yeah. Or in those days they will say Timmy Joshua doesn't call the name Jesus. <laughs> you don't call the name Jesus. If you don't call the name Jesus in the natural, what are the in the spirit? Eh? Do you know I may not talk? Look at that sister. If I want to talk to her, if I want her to move from that place, I will not even bother to move open my lips. Mere looking at her, you see her begin to chow. Without even talk. We talk so that you hear us. So that you can hear what we are saying. You know, I can say, rise up. Let us pray. And I will remain silent. And the, 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 the service will be going. You see people falling. Without even talk. We talk so that you know what we are talking about. So what are we saying? So let's call your husband out. The Bible is it is scary, you know. If you give her 24 hours, she will preach powerful a, 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 a sermon that you begin to cry. But who is she? But today is free. In the past, because we could not allow her to talk before she is delivered. She's now here giving you an uh, experience now in the in the message. So the question we are asking now is that how, how, how did Satan demon fear? This time you go out to say I deliver you from the spirit of demon or I rebook you, you demon. Whereas is demon inside her. Demon will allow you to say this so that you can use it to deceive people. He said he deliver you, I deliver the, the spirit of you, the spirit of demon. How? Whereas he's taking you from that to demon. He's converting you to demon. Systematically. Let's call the husband out. So I'm, uh -huh.